Hi, ladies and gents, on this wonderful Monday morning. Um, Monday morning. I'm excited that I'm retired and I can even be home on Monday morning. I haven't brushed my hair. Okay, my name's Scrappin' Lizzie. It's actually Elizabeth, but I, because I all, I'm always scrapping something, I changed it to Scrappin' Lizzie. I might have it changed on my birth certificate, too. I don't know about that, but I might. And, um, but... I wanted to show you something. I always want to show you something because I like to show and tell. I like to show and tell even when I was in school, in kindergarten. I don't know if I went to kindergarten. I think I went to first grade. But anyway, straight on to first grade. I was too smart for kindergarten. <laughs> I'm lying. Okay, but this is what I want to show you. This this is a, a junk journal that I've made. And I like this one here. I do like it. It's, it's, it's really nice. Um... In my humble opinion, anyway, it's really nice. Um, it's got like lots of cool pages, and and I've and I've put um, I've put a lot of things in here. I'm not. It's not finished though. I've got a lot more to do on this one, I think, and um, I never know for sure. But I got like envelopes stuffed full of things in here, and I've got pockets with things and gel prints on there and and I have um, papers that I coffee dyed on there and um, in pockets with tags it's a coffee dyed paper put it in the oven to dry you can even see the oven racks piece of a road map I might have showed this before I don't know I've noticed that sometimes I do things over and over yeah I gotta put like some string on my tags is a bit of a um, bit of a um, yeah yeah that thing and um, more tags uh, just tags and pockets this is a this pockets made out of one of my gel prints as well and um, it's a gel print pocket there on that paper Ooh, what is that called you get it off you know that they wrap sandwiches in you know that and um, that was a gel print but a lot of a lot of um, scraps of paper you can use when you're filling up your junk journals. Like I've told you all before, uh, this one even is coffee dyed, which then um, it, and it was already a printed paper, but I coffee dyed it and stuck it in the oven and dried it in magnetic paper clip. Um, Um, piece of a road map there. This is just an art project that I was working on. And um, I like doing junk journals because because junk journals, you can just use junk cap. You don't have to um, go and buy all that fancy paper over for the Hobby Lobby or whatever. You don't need all that stuff. And um, Although I have done fancy paper things, but I'm getting a little poor. So I don't do a whole lot of fancy things anymore. And um, but I and you can do a junk journal even if you're poor because then you just use the scraps that you have laying around and have had around for a hundred years. You just can use them. Um, doily, that's the word I was going for there. And then I have different things. But what I want to show you today, it, I feel like I went through this journal once before, and I'm ahead because sometimes I look at my YouTube videos and I say, oh, I did that one twice. Yeah, a little weird. So, um, but as you can see, I sold one of these. Somebody actually offered me money for one, and one that I did, and I was, like, impressed because it's just a junk journal, but I said, what the heck, I sold it and bought more stuff to make more. And anyway, um, as you can see, as I flip these pages, there's a lot of removable things because they're in pockets. And so, a lot of removable things, and then just like the cards that you can journal on. So there's plenty of place to journal. And um, magnetic paper clip thing right there. See, I make them things too. And then um, this opens up, and more tags in there. I don't want to take up all your time here. Um, but I like putting quotes. I'll probably put some quotes in here still because I like different quotes too. This is I used a Tim Holtz 
um, packaging here and made a pocket just by only gluing in like um, two, two corners, just a corner. And um, yeah, anyway, oh, and that's my journal. But what I want to show you, this is what I want to show you. I've been working on making these um, paper clip embellishment embellishments with paper clips. Here they are down here. Now, now see, there, there's quite a few different ones. This one here, very simple, just a piece of, of um, ribbon, and then I put some string on there and some beads on there and glued on a, a flare. And, and there you go. And now that can just go right in here and stick on anything. See, here's a picture of somebody, like an old man, like an old man, old man from a long time ago, like he looks like he was a president or something. But it don't look good on that president. I'm going to turn it around and put it on this side. And see, there you can go. That looks better over there. And then stick that back in that pocket. And doggone it, if that doesn't give that a little bit more um, pizzazz, you know, pizzazz. And then, and then, let's see, this one, all I put on this one was I just cut a piece of music, cut a piece of music sheet. Hmm. Yeah, I was going to show you my music sheet, but I don't know where I threw it. But see, I just cut a piece off of that music sheet and put it here and made this little flag out of there and says you can never have too much happy and I just put that on there and then put that on that paper clip and um and then it'll stick to anything you would want that to stick to so you can stick that on this page and then there that dresses that page up some more and then I made this one here just a little piece of paper put the word happy on there just folded it over, and when you fold it, and when you do that, you just take the paper clip, and see, like, the paper clip is, it's open on one side and closed on the other side, so it's a complete piece of wire on the one side. So you hang whatever you're going to hang on that complete piece, and then you have it still open to where you can stick it on something. And so then that one there, I put that on there, I put that little button it's a little button metal flower of some kind and so and, and you can just find a spot just find a spot and poke it on there in your junk journal because it's the junk journal you know it doesn't have to match doesn't have, nothing has to match or nothing just put that right on there somewhere I put it on that pocket and and then I have oh this one one of my favorite candies that I'm not supposed to be eating because I'm diabetic, but I ate it anyway, and I shouldn't do that, and I'm trying to make myself quit eating candy because I'm diabetic. But I use the packaging because, well, I don't smell like mint anymore. But, and then I put that on the paper clip, and, but I, it's double-sided, so you can put it either way on either going left or going right. On your piece, piece of paper, on your page, Let's see, let me, is there a place? Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. There you go, and look, it, maybe that sticks out too far. So maybe I would, instead of putting it on the page, maybe I would just stick it on the tag. There you go, and then, that's better. And then I can put that tag inside the pocket that I just lost. Oh, here it is. I think this is where it was. That's where I'm gonna do it. And then let that tag hang out. And then it doesn't hang out of the, the journal so much. And, um, but there's this one here. I just put a flower and it says believe. And, it, and it's got just the um, ribbon over the, um, over the paper clip. And then I glued on that flower. I made that flower. I think it's pretty. And it just says believe. And then I have... This flower I had colored and cut it out, and then I put um, stuff on the back too, and glued it on there. And um, that says friendship, 
And so this one, this one would do better going on a top of a page. Let's see there, on the top of the page, and then you can see it on the other side, see? And so that's really cool right there. And you still use them just as a paper clip. Then this one, I put that flower, that paper clip's going this way, and then that's got a flower, and it says peace. I like words. I like words that, you know, say something. Well, I guess all words say something. Now this one, this, you're, are you ready for this? This one here, I took a longer piece of paper and made a flag. See, so I take the double, you know, it's, you got to measure your, um, your paper clip, and this one I think I, is one and three quarters inch. Yeah, one and three quarters inch is the width of the paper I can put in here. So I'll cut that to one and three quarters of inch in width, and then as long as I want it, it can be as long as a rope. And then I just put it on that bottom part. I tie, flip it over, I mean, and then glue, glue it on the top here. Oh, this one I glued two, 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 three sides. And then I, um, using my punch, I punched just a little thumb notch there. And since I only glued it on three sides, it made like a pocket. And I can stick a tag inside there. Now that's pretty cool. And then that's a, a flower that I had made. I made the flower and then I put, put it through the cuddle bug with a, um, with a um, texture plate. That's not what they're called. It's called something. You sandwich it in there and it makes the emboss embossing folder. Yeah, and I wrote create on there. And I like that one. I think that is cool. That'll definitely go live in this here book. I'm going to put that one right here. Right here. On that page. See? And that just blinged up that plain page right there. Just, and then they can be moved around. So if, if you want to move, you can take it out to write and then put it back in or, or, or whatever. You know, you can really, you can really make that do whatever you want to make it do. And then, um, okay. This one here is, I just made it, did the same thing. Put the piece of paper. These ones are a little bit less. I think only one and a half inch on these metal ones that I can go one and a half inch the paper. And then I put here, it says, enjoy the little things. And then I, before I glued it together, I put this little cut out. See, I got these little punch out kind of things. I can use them. I put that on there and inked around it and then glued the little rose on there. And I think that looks pretty and that'll look pretty in the book. And, um, and then I have Okay, then I want to show you, too. I like to make these little envelopes. Here, there's one. This is a little envelope. You can make them in all different sizes and shapes, but that's what it is. I, I use that. I make it on this envelope punch board. But, um, and so, let me just quick make, what time do I use it? Let me see Oh, I'm good. Okay, I'm going to use this piece of paper. And this piece of paper is four inches, I think, is it? Four inches by four inches square. And so that one, that one isn't on the grid here. It tells you, so you got to figure it out yourself. So what I cut, what I punch this at is one, if you've got this envelope punch board, I love this thing. There's so many things you can do with it. But I'm going to set it in there at one and three quarter inches, it says right there, one and three quarter. And that's where I'm going to punch it at one and three quarters. I gotta leave it there and punch it. And then I need my scoring tool and I'll go down. Then I go again. Now I don't go back to that one and three quarter inches. I'm done with that. So now I'm just going to go. Now I'm just going to use that score line I just made. And then on this pokey thing here, it, it'll poke to the score line. And so you put it on the score line, punch, and and score. And then again, go to the score line, punch.
punch and sc score and then go to the score line punch and score I know you can't see a thing I'm doing because I got my big fat hand in the way now and then that's what you end up with and then you can take the top and see here and here in the top part you can go like this and round the corners See, round the top and the bottom corner. And see, now you have an envelope. You just fold the sides in, fold the little sides in, and then you fold up the bottom, and then you get your little bit of glue going on here. And you can put your little bit of glue on either side there, and, and fold that back up, and now I have an envelope. And then, Wait a minute, I can't think and put my lid on at the same time. There, I'm talking, put my lid on. I can talk in my sleep. I talk constantly in my sleep. I talk I talk to people that they don't want to hear me. I talk to them anyway. And, um, okay, so then what I'll do here is I'm going to take just a piece. I'm going to take a piece, and I'm just going to cut it off. This piece is going to fit on the back of my envelope. and But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Just to make it look a little bit more fancy, professional. Of course, of course I do things professional. That's not the one. This is the one I want. I'm going to take this quarter-inch corner round and round them corners of this little square. So that makes it a little bit better. Now I'm going to take a paper clip and I'm going to paper clip it on. I'm just going to clip it right on there on that um, on that piece of paper that I just cut out. I'm just paper clipping that on there. And then I'm going to take I'm going to take um, my double sided tape here. It's score well it's not score tape but again. This is Elizabeth tape. I bought that because it's got the name all over it. And um, so I'm going to just put the score tape, well, the double sided tape, the Elizabeth craft design tape, and I'm just going to put that on the back of that there envelope. I mean, not the envelope, the little square piece. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that's good and burnished on there good. And then I'm going to. Um, Take the backing off of this tape. Don't take the tape off, take the backing off. And then on the back of the envelope, I'm going to put that right on there. Now that's taped on there. It's taped on there. It's on there good. It's got a paper clip on the back. You don't see it at the front. And so then you go through your, your embellishment things. And you find stuff in your embellishment things, and you can put things like you could put here is a little tag that says cherish on it, and then here is will that fit in there? No, that won't fit in there unless I cut it down some. And um, you know, you can put like all kind of little things, things that's it, just things. Be, this is be fabulous. And you can just fill that up with whatever you want to fill it up with. And um, there's a little card. We'll put that in there. And But anyhow, then you can take this. Oh, you might want to decorate even. Yeah, I would want to. The front of the envelope. I'll put me a little pop down in there. Yeah, I'm going to put me a little pop dot on this little flower here. Put me. I probably don't need something that thick. But um, I'm going to put that on there. And, um, yeah, that's all I'll put on there for now. Because, you know, I'm taking up your time. Oh, look at that. That's pretty, too. I'll stick that. Put, put all them things in that envelope like that. I guess that's enough stuff on there. No, it's not. It's never enough. I never have enough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this little rose 
No, I'm not going to put that rose on there. It doesn't match. This one would. And I don't like that one. Oh, this one here. That's better. I'm not going to put nothing on there. But, okay, then I go to another page. I get my book. Now, see, you guys are probably wondering, why does that woman have such a big fat mess? And there's no answer. No answer for that. I'm going to take this little card out of here. And then I'm going to put the paper clip and clip that envelope right to that card. Just paper clip it to that. And so, you know, then if I wanted to put this tag behind it, I could do that. You can do that. It's junk journal. It's just junk. You're just going to use junk. So you don't have to be anything perfect or matching or anything. And then look there inside that book how pretty it is. Now, um, well, that sure makes that, it sure makes that look, okay, but anyway, I want to show you here. This is another one that I had made previously. I got that paper clip already on the back, and I put a flower on that one in um, a little tag, and I have stuff just inside there, together always, and I put that little rose, that little rose on there, isn't that pretty? That's pretty. And then that there. That you can take that and then and see all this stuff you can do this later. You know, you can do this um like and because you don't have to glue it in, I just stuck that on that page right there. And look how that just dressed that page right up pretty like that. And so depending on whether you put your paper clip this way or if you put it this way would depend on if you would put it on this page or on this page. So, and then the way I just close the book, the closure on this particular book is just a hairband. You can buy them, like, at the Dollar Tree, you can get, like, ten of them for a buck. And then you just put it around, just like if you was making a ponytail, and just put that sucker right on there. And then, um, that just holds it together right there. I, I looked like I was all thumbs doing that, didn't I? And then on this one here, because I love my little, this is like one of my favorite dies that I have is the Tim Holtz Umbrella Man. And I took him and I um, embossed him with different colors of stuff. And I just think he looks pretty. And so I just always stick him right in front there. But his umbrella is getting loose, so I might have to actually glue him on this so he doesn't lose his umbrella because I love his umbrella. But that's what I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you update on this here little, this little um, junk journal and brag about my junk journal because I do brag about my junk journals. Cause, and the only thing I brag about in life are my grandchildren and my junk journals. That's it. That's my main thing to brag about. So that's it. I made this this video just for y'all because I love you. And um, now I think today I'm going to clean up this mess because it's getting to where I don't have a lot of area to work and um, that's what happens in my life I start running out of area to work and so oh good this is only 23 minutes I've noticed sometimes I rewatch my videos after I make them and then think I should actually throw them in the rubbish but um, I, I decided I'm going to try to keep my videos under 30 minutes, under 30 minutes rather than going up to 45 minutes or whatever because, man, I get tired of watching them myself. So that's why I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it right there. And um, so anyhow, this is me on this here Monday morning. And um, I got to go get my hair cut again. It's getting a little too long. I, I need to get it cut like that forward bob thing going on got this necklace on it's got magnets on it because i got hurt neck i got a hurt neck i've been a pain in the neck all my life to everybody my parents my siblings my children my husband and so now they say what goes around comes around so now my neck hurts all the time because it's coming back to me i'll be in a pain in the neck so i got horse liniment on there and then i wear this I'm trying this magnetic bracelet. Somebody said that it's a bracelet, but I'm making it a necklace. I might make me another. I made this. One. I got all kind of magnets. But anyhow, see how I just run off at the mouth? I just, I don't know. I think I need to get me like a, something that shuts my mouth. Use um, 
some Gorilla Glue for lipstick or something. I don't know. Okay, you know what I want to just say? One more thing is that I love you dearly. I love all you. And I'm just so, so excited that you, um, that you watch and you leave them comments and it just tickles my heart. And leave me comments too, you know, like if you can think of something else that I'm missing in my journal, junk journals, you go ahead and, um, um, you go ahead and, um, let me know in the comments down, down there. It let me know of some ideas that I can use in my junk journals that I might not have thought of yet. And, um, and, or if you make it junk journals and you have a, um, link, if you have a YouTube channel and if you make junk journals, leave me a idea how I can give me, leave me directions how I can get to your YouTube channel because I want to watch yours too. And then I learn more stuff and I put the stuff I know, then I put the stuff you know, and I put it together and I come up with a junk journal that is like from heaven, I'm telling you. Okay, may God watch every step you take today and tomorrow and every day after that. Keep you comfortable, keep you safe, keep you happy. And that is my prayer for you. And I will see you again the next time I do another 26 minute and 21 seconds. Well, it's more than that now. Um, video. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye.